the birthday boy today. Happy. I am growing older. Sure you are. After some time, you will become a little gentleman. I will grow taller, as tall as my plant. Now, I am as old as my little plant, 10 years old. Like all living things, we change through time. You were a baby, now you are a little boy. Your plant was a seed, now it is as tall as you are. Your seed grew into a plant, and your puppy grew into a dog too. What about other things? Does they change with time too? Like what? Like that scar. Does it grow into a truck? <laughs> of course you're joking. It doesn't. It doesn't grow taller like us. Have you seen an old car with wrinkles? But it does change with time. It will look old and not new. Exactly. When we use cars, trucks, tables, furniture, all these change and become old. They don't grow, they become old. But have you ever thought about nature? What about the mountains? Do you think these can change? I have never seen them change. They do. Everything changes with time. Some things change fast and some things change slowly. Do rocks change too? Let me show you this video and you will decide for yourself. Here there are rocks and heavy rain with a thunderstorm. The water turns to ice and the rocks start cracking until they break into small pieces. And the small pieces go with the rain into a river. If you want to know how this happened, watch our next episode. Sherbil, what are you up to? Well, water changes rocks, so I am going to water my rocks and see. This will take thousands of years to happen. Rocks will not change by just watering them. Through the years, when it rains and rains and rains, rocks break into smaller pieces. These are some of the rocks you got here. Look at these rocks. This is rough and this is smooth. It is smooth now, but it wasn't before. It was a big and hard rock up in the mountain. Rain and water broke the rock down into small pieces and changed it. Where did you find this rock? Near the river. How did the small pieces of rocks reach the river? Up from the mountain? Through wind and water. These small broken pieces of rocks were carried away by wind or water, all through the Rocky Mountains into rivers. How? Come, let me show you how this happens. Here, I have formed a mountain. Can you see the mountain? And I made a path for the river. Now, I am going to put some water here and we'll see what's going to happen. Can you see what happened? What happened here? Water moved the sand. So water moved the sand down. The sand represents the small pieces of broken rocks. Water or rain moves the broken pieces of rocks to a different place away from the mountain. We call this erosion. But what happened to the Smarties? See here? Can you look? Water changed their color. The Smarties represent the small rocks. Do rocks change your color too? Of course. Look at this iron over here, piece of iron. It has rust because of water. Some rocks have iron in them. When they come in contact with rain, the iron in them rusts, changing their color. So water broke down the big rocks. Water moved the small pieces into a different place. Water changed the rocks color too. Can water do all of that? Not only that, water can change the color of rocks. It can change their shape too. And this is what happened in Jaita Grotto. Wow, water is powerful. Yes, it is. It takes thousands of years for this to happen. This is weathering. Weathering changes the color of rocks and breaks them down, changing their shape. I will now ask you please, 
to blow using the straw, this mountain. Can you blow? Harder, harder. See how the shape of the mountain has changed? Wind causes weathering too. So water and wind cause weathering. They change rocks and nature. What else changes the rocks? Coke. <laughs> Let me show you here are two bottles of Coke. Can you see this? One was put in the freezer and the other was kept outside. Can you see how the level of the liquid expanded in the frozen one? Frozen water needs more space. Yes, that's weathering through ice or freezing water. During winter, when it rains and the temperature drops very low, the water stored inside the holes in the mountains will freeze. When the water inside the rocks freezes, it expands and needs more space. So it breaks the rocks into smaller pieces. What happens when the temperature increases and frozen water melts? It eventually goes through the rivers. But that's not the only thing that heat does. High temperature or heat is another cause of weathering. Rocks at high temperature expand too. But water expands at a low temperature and not at a high one. Water is a liquid. Liquids expand at a low temperature. Solids are the opposite. Solids expand when the temperature is high. They need more space. My closet is a solid. It doesn't expand in summer. It does, but you can't see it. It expands a bit. A rock expands too, and this is why it breaks. Water, wind, ice, and heat can cause weathering. What else? So curious. Also, plants that grow into huge trees play a role in breaking rocks. This is weathering too. We break rocks too. Yes. When we dig in mountains to make sand and stones good for building, we break down rocks and use them. This is fast weathering. True. Weathering might happen fast or might take thousands of years. Weathering causes a mess of rocks and erosion helps clean this mess up. While it is cleaning, disasters might happen. Through erosion, broken rocks move with rain and wind, and this might be dangerous if there are houses or farms nearby. Let us imagine that there are houses at the bottom of the tray. What do you think will happen? They will be flooded and everything will be destroyed. You are right. What do people do to protect their houses from floods. They need to pick safe places to live in. They need to use different materials in building their houses, like using stones instead of wood. Sherbil, now it is your turn to go and clean up the mess in your room. Erosion won't make it for you. But first, let's say goodbye to our friends. Bye. Bye. لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس